I'm Greg Thomas, and I'll be discussing the legacy of Black, Brown, and Beige and what it represents for the ages. Black, Brown, and Beige has a legacy tied to jazz, to Ellington's own body of work, to Black Americans and American culture, and to the world. Within jazz, the work fulfilled a compositional imperative, signaled by Scott Joplin as a ragtime composer, Jelly Roll Morton as the first great jazz composer, and George Gershwin whose classic Rhapsody in Blue combines symphonic effects with blues and jazz elements. Being confined to the dictates of record companies, of technological limitations such as the length of a recording, and even the taste of the public, will not box in an artist like Ellington, who needed a wider canvas to express his feeling within form. Limiting a Duke Ellington to a three-minute record would be like confining Toni Morrison or Philip Roth to short nonfiction. After the work was performed, and although some critiqued it as uneven, other composers in jazz were inspired by Ellington's ambition and example. One clear instance is Wynton Marsalis's Pulitzer Prize winning composition, Blood on the Fields, which centered on a love story during slavery times a period that Ellington intended to cover in Black, Brown, and Beige, but took out. In Ellington's own body of work, Black, Brown, and Beige was the culmination of a long-form direction. He began with Creole Rhapsody, Symphony in Black, and Reminiscing in Tempo, all composed before Black, Brown, and Beige. He never wrote a composition as long ever again, but the moving sacred piece, Come Sunday, memorialized in Sonic Heaven by Mahalia Jackson, inspired his sacred works in the last full decade of Ellington's life. To black Americans and Americans overall, the composition takes on the resonances of struggle and labor, whereby Ellington represented rhythmically the work songs of his ancestors. The heroic resilience and fortitude of his cultural kinfolk are captured in swing, as is the blues contours and textures of American life. Finally, Black, Brown, and Beige isn't isolated from the totality of Ellington's astounding accomplishments, writing over 1,100 compositions, collaborating with Billy Strayhorn and master musicians in his orchestra, whose styles and personalities he kept in mind while composing. He stands alone in Western music in that regard. Ellington was sui generis. Duke Ellington brought the infinite into form with aesthetic statement of such quality that his music is timeless. Both rooted and cosmopolitan, he stylized his own life in composition. He stylized Negro American feeling expressed in rhythm and tune. And by so doing, he also stylized American life and experience overall. He is America's greatest composer, period, not only in jazz. Ellington is an everlasting example of an artistic genius whose music had so much range, depth, height, and grandeur that it became a universal statement for the 20th century and beyond. Beyond category, he was, and as he said of Mary Lou Williams, Ellington was and is perpetually contemporary.